is it healthy to keep separate bank accounts in a relationship? That's the question today. My first answer to you is yes, it is very healthy to keep separate bank accounts. But there is a general rule or some general rules that we must all follow when in a relationship as it relates to our finances. Some things need to be taken into consideration as far as what each partner has in terms of income. Let's use this as an example. Let's say both partners are working. You both are making money, bringing income into the home. Now, there's the most obvious, and that is the fact that you have to pay your bills, your recurring bills monthly, your overhead, your leisure activities even. But of course, you want to take care of the things that are most important first. I suggest that you have a joint account to pay your monthly bills, your expenses. That's rent slash mortgage, utilities, phone, food, uh, cable bill, uh, car note, transportation in terms of gas and maintenance and so forth. All of that should be your general funds within that joint account. I suggest also that both partners have their own accounts, their own bank accounts, their single bank accounts. Now those single bank accounts mean that they're just that, they're, they're your individual account. You can do with that account whatever you deem necessary to do with that account. So let me back up a little bit. I spoke of the joint account that is also your general account that you pay your bills from. You should also invest in your future. You should have a savings. A just in case somewhere down the road. So you have to sit down with a pen and pad. You and the other partner and you say this is what I bring in monthly then they tell you this is what I bring in and you say we both should contribute a certain amount from both of our incomes if we get paid weekly or bi-weekly we put this much money into our joint account to pay our recurring bills and expenses overhead even and we put this much or allocate this much for a savings for our future and even investments. So there's two accounts that you have together. You have a joint account. That general account is for all of your specific needs monthly. And then you have a savings account that you both are jointly heirs to as well. That's for your future. Retirement even. And attached to that can be all kinds of other vehicles to bring you in residual income and so forth. But that's topic for another day. I hope you get the gist of what I'm saying already. Now let's back up or speed back up to I should say you having your own independent or single account as an individual. Every person or both individuals in that relationship deserve to be able to enjoy life on their own terms. You see, if you have a joint account where all of your bills are paid from that and then you have all your other money in that same account, you're asking for this recipe to disaster to come along and you don't want that. That is why you allocate your money in specific places, savings, your monthly recurring bills again and obligations, and then you both have your own individual account. If Let's say, for example, one person has $500 to $1,000 in their account. If they exhaust that account, that's on them. If the other person is saving their money, that's good for them. 
you should never reflect back on what the other person has in their account especially if they've saved more money in their account than you because you let's say you're a spender you should never say well you have more money in your account than I do it's really none of their business because we started out even or equal we both started out contributing money to our savings and also to our monthly bills so we're even there now what's left belongs to me from my income and what's left from your contributions to the to accounts that we have so to speak is your income what you do with it or don't do with it is your business so the answer is this again should two partners in the relationship have separate accounts only the answer is yes first of all yes you should have your own separate account only after you make sure that you have that joint account and that all of your major obligations are taken care of monthly and that you do it together as a union mutually and then you can see clearly to have hopefully a long and enduring relationship without conflicts about money but while you're saving your money make sure also that you don't spend every last cent that you have out of your savings because nobody knows what tomorrow's going to bring you just really don't know you need to uh, consider these things as well this is brother teacher I'm out